Okay, new bonjour tout le monde. Here is your next PowerPoint for soccer and basketball. Let's start with a prayer. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Ange de Dieu, toi qui es mon gardien, puisque le ciel m'a confié à toi dans sa bonté, éclaire-moi, dirige-moi et gouverne-moi aujourd'hui. Amen. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. Okay, so les objectifs pour aujourd'hui. We're going to review uh, the vocab that we already did, so I just recommend you practice pronouncing it with me. Uh, and then we're going to go over soccer and basketball, and I will also give you the... Uh, we're not going to play games, unfortunately, because we're not together. I will give you the answers to your general sports vocab descriptions as well. Okay, so let's review our general sports vocab. Donc, répétez les sports. Un match. Un jeu de société. Une équipe. Un joueur. Une joueuse. Un supporter, une supportrice. Donc voilà uh, les réponses des descriptions. So you can check your answers uh, this way if you would like for your general sports vocab description. So pause it here and check your answers. Répétez un spectateur, une spectatrice. Le score, gagné, un ballon, une balle, applaudir. And here's these descriptions that these words are used in. Sorry, the numbers uh, aren't going to match your worksheet. But again, you can just check how you did uh, with the answers. So pause it here if you need to, to check these descriptions. Répétez un maillot. Les shorts. Les chaussettes. Les tennis. Les baskets. Dommage. Le football américain. Okay, here's some more descriptions, answers. Répétez le volley, la natation, l'athlétisme, l'entraîneur, l'entraînement. And here's your last chunk of descriptions from that first page. So go ahead and check your answers to make sure you have the correct ones. Okay, and then here's our new vocab, le foot, ça veut dire soccer, et le basket, basketball. So this is the back side of your first page that you already filled out of picture notes. So again, I will just repeat uh, or pronounce the words so you can hear how they're pronounced. I'll explain anything that needs more explanation. So le foot, this is not a picture on your notes, but this is just what the sport is called, le foot, le football. Uh, le foot is the most common, so the shorthand is more common. Some of your soccer. This should have a um, Un ballon de football, ça veut dire soccer ball, or un ballon de foot is fine. Un but, un but, ça veut dire a goal. Not the goal like the object, but goal like the point. Un but. Le terrain de foot, le terrain de foot, ça veut dire soccer field. Et le temps, le temps, 
seven year time. Le gardien, la gardienne, seven year goalie. La cage, la cage, seven year goal as in the object, the goal box, I guess. Marquer, marquer, say un verb, ça veut dire to score. So you could say marquer un point, marquer un but. Jeter, lancer. Jeter, lancer. These are on the same uh, page because they mean the same thing. They both mean to throw. Frapper, frapper. Frapper, ça veut dire to hit. Uh, or to kick. Frappe is used for a lot, so in the sense of soccer, obviously it means to kick. Uh, this could also mean to hit. It also is the word that you use when you're knocking on a door. Frappe sur la porte. Um, so frappe is used for a lot of things, hitting things. Dribble. Dribble. So I would do to dribble. Garde. Garde. So I would do to uh, guard or to keep. Bloquer, bloquer, ça veut dire to block. Les crampons, les crampons, ça veut dire cleats. Okay, so those are our soccer words. Now, le basket. So le basket, le basketball. Uh, usually people just say le basket. This is not a picture on your notes either. And actually, I've met, oh, actually it is, sorry, it is a picture. Um, I've met a lot of French people who really like watching American basketball. So there aren't any professional French teams, but French people do like watching basketball. They just watch American basketball. Le ballon de basket. Le ballon de basket, ça veut dire basketball. Remember, ballon are the sports balls that you inflate. Le terrain de basket. Le terrain de basket. Ça veut dire basketball court. I know le terrain was the same word that we used for field, um, but it means both. So field, court, there is a word for court, oddly enough, um, but for basketball we say le terrain. Le panier de basket. Le panier de basket. Ça veut dire basket, like the, bas the hoop, I guess. Passer, passer, ça veut dire to pass. Tirer, tirer, ça veut dire to shoot. Uh, yes, this would be shoot with a gun, shoot a basket, uh, either way. And everyone's favorite word, smasher. Smasher, ça veut dire to dunk. Okay, so that's all I have for you for this one. Uh, make sure you're filling out your notes and filling out the descriptions, and please hand in the descriptions by Wednesday morning. Merci et au revoir, à la prochaine!